I hope everybody's doing well. Oh, we are so close to Christmas now. Um, I've got all my shopping done. Yay! <laughs> uh, uh, me and my sister and my niece this year, well, me and my sister always go, always go to uh, out of town for the Black Friday and we stay the night and Anyway, we just go for the fun of it. Not really all the time do we do a lot of shopping, but but uh, anyway, had a wonderful time Black Friday shopping. Uh, it's one of my favorite things to kick off the holidays. But um, I wanted to share. I did get some journals done. Huh. This will be the last of the journals uh, from now till Christmas. Uh, I had some that uh, I already uh, had planned on starting and. And some of the things that was on my table to make. So, um, anyway, with that said, uh, I've got a couple of, these are about 9 by 6 is what they measure. Uh, and then I have some, and I'm going to show them first. Uh, these are easy peasy journals. Now, these are some bag journals that I made. And, um... I had found the simplicity. Of course, if you've been to Joann's, you know the simplicity that they have. Uh, the vintage stuff that is just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And so I found the Christmas labels. But you could do this with any labels. You could get your labels on sale at Walmart after Christmas or Target or wherever it is you shop. They're going to mark all their stuff down come... Um, right after Christmas or they may start marking it down even before Christmas but if you have some extra tags laying around the house even or just want to go purchase some these were so fun these are wrapping paper uh, the simplicity wrapping paper that uh, matches the labels and that is pretty much what all of this is made out of is just the um, the wrapping paper and the labels so you know I would call this my uh, holiday <laughs> holiday or Christmas tag journal or something but I'm gonna have all these in the Etsy shop um, I did number them even though they're all basically the same uh, I'm gonna start with number one I had one little oddball that I actually had started because I was going to um, I was actually going to sew it in red but I didn't really like the red as much after I sewed this first piece so I thought no I don't want to do it all in red so this one has one layer of red on it and then the rest is in kind of like a creamy white off-white color so so uh, anyway we're going to start with number one and uh, like I said they're all basically the same but they were so fun I've kind of popped up this a little bit on a piece of foam tape. It's not real tall, so I just wanted to pop it up a little bit from the from the cover. So this is number one here, and like I said, they are all basically uh, made the same. Um, maybe just a few differences here and there, but not much. So I got these tags from Brenda over at uh, Paper Bits and Bobbles. Uh, I follow her on Instagram. And um, she had some of these green and red repair tags. And I have not ever seen these before. And she said she had found a few. I seen her on Instagram say that she had found a few when she was going through some stuff. And I knew they'd be perfect for Christmas. So uh, even if I didn't use them this year, I probably would next year. So I purchased some from her shop just for this reason. So I could use them in my holiday uh, Christmas journal so but I made all of them like I said are the tags uh, let me show you what what they are and then I had a couple of just little strips of them but these are the tags right here these are I'm oh, sorry about the glare uh, I'm kind of doing this early morning so I've got uh, the lamps on but uh, I've used mostly all the Christmas labels. There's just a few left. But anyway, that's kind of what they looked like right there. And those were from Joann's. And so was the wrapping paper. So um, I just made a little old bitty for my offcuts. I made this little bitty, little bitty notepad there or a journal pad. 
and then I've added just a little bit. This is some vintage stenographer's paper here. Oops. Looks like we might be a little stuck together, but uh, anyway, just a little a little book with there. And then here's another. I just backed it in some craft cardstock, kind of getting it to match the the uh, the uh, cover there, where I use the uh, craft, um, uh, not chipboard, but a uh, cardstock. And then I just did a little collage here, a little bit of uh, uh, Tim Holtz Christmas uh, washi tape, a little vintage music sheet there. And then I added a little doily. This is just a piece of uh, natural parchment paper. Then I took a little uh, uh, envelope, one of the number 10 envelopes. Here's just a little, this is a vintage 7-Up. Um, I have some of these in the shop, and some of them tear off, and I didn't want to sell them, so I just put them in the journal um, with the little top tore off there where I tried to get it out. There's, they're so old, sometimes stuff just doesn't want to come out right. And uh, here's another little label on a little piece of uh, uh, fabric. This is some um, bond, a vintage bond paper, which is uh, a little thicker than an onion skin. And then I've just ruffled some of the, some of the uh, uh, Christmas paper there. And then I just made a little, a little uh, place to journal there with that. And here is just a little stamp. I found these simplicity stamps also there which were very fun. Another little collage there. I'm still loving the tape. This is going to be kind of a staple in my journals now. Uh, I watched Beth Wallen uh, video where she had used some of that and just explained how she how she made it and I uh, loved it. Absolutely loved it. Here is uh, some more of that little label with uh, our tag with the fabric. This is an old time sheet. I got it in a state sale. I don't have these posted in the shop yet. Um, I've got a lot of things that haven't really made it to the shop yet that I need to be working on. Here's the little old time card. They were uh, per perforated and they came in strips of three. They were kind of neat. Uh, but anyway, and then I just had, this is actually a stamp from uh, Target. Santa's workshop. That was one of them I got on the Target spot there when they put out their Christmas stuff. Another uh, little ruffle there. And just did some, uh, did a little collaging with the washi tape. Uh, these are, um, I think they're Calico Collage, but they'll either be Mrs. Cogs or Calico Collage. Uh, that has been the two that I have been using in the Christmas uh, verbiage. So there's another little simplicity stamp, and then another little, a little journaling pad or notepad, whatever you want to use it for. And then in this, I've just made another little pocket and added just a little, a little thing there. And then in the back on that flap. I actually made another little, and it's a very small journal. It's only like six sheets or something, or I mean three sheets. And I added a little, uh, a little poinsettia there. And, um, then the little booklet. And I'm only going to open one of these because like I said, they are all basically the same. Um, the oddball will have a little different, um, um, uh, labels in it or the tags because what happened is I got four of each in a in a thing so when I made a fifth one I had to kind of have an oddball so and uh, oh, there is for the bond paper just put the little uh, tag there and there is the there is the little journal and while I'm thinking about it, ladies, I want to, uh, 
let you know about, uh, now that was journal number one, or bag journal number one. Uh, this will be bag journal number two. I'll show you the ba uh, back. It's got a little, little label there, to and from. But uh, I wanted to be sure and mention a couple of Etsy shops. Um, if you want some last minute gifts, uh, my daughter has the Remedy Bar. I will put the link in the description box. She's got some little necklace charms and, and different things uh, over there. Uh, her shop is fairly new. And uh, like everybody else who starts an Etsy shop, you know how hard it is to kind of get off the ground. So, um, And then I have my nieces, which is Picking Junk Addict which I will also put in the description box. And uh, be sure and go over and check out their shops. Um, this is number two. And uh, I've, again, I've just used the label, one of the labels. <laughs> Shopping through a winter wonderland because you're worth it. Uh, these are the cutest labels, by the way. And I did add a little hats there. I found it at Hobby Lobby. I added a little hat. But they're basically the same. I mean... I'm just going to kind of flip through it. I'm not going to take everything out. Um, but I just tried to make them. This one might be different. This one says ho, ho, ho instead of, I think the other one was Santa Baby. So, but this is all the same. The insides are the same. Um, this was where I could use... Uh, and I only had two of these, so there'll be a couple of these a little different. This was on my little sticker sheet that would have only had two, so. But I went through the through the labels. And this one just says Mary. But this and even everything on the inside is the same, so it'll all have Santa's workshop. And this one has Believe, a little collage there. These are um, the same. And then here is the, the little collaging on the... And I kind of stitched around the Deck the Hall sticker there. Okay. And then here is number three. Be number oh that's number four let's find number three here is number three oops I've got a <laughs> I've got a pin sticking to the thing there okay in the same way it's the same sticker on the front and the little to and from sticker on the back these are of course the jumbo paper bags everything here is the same um the uh, jumbo paper bags or giant paper bags. I get them at Walmart is where I pick them up. But I have bought them at uh, Gerbs or uh, Deerberg's. So, <clears throat> Dillon's. All those do have them. I, I'm sure Target has them. I've not ever purchased any at Target, but I'm sure they do have them. I don't have a Target close, so Target shopping is not uh, something I get to do unless I go uh, to the Lake of the Ozarks, which is about a 40-minute drive. And there's just some more collaging. Use a little uh, pattern paper tissue or pattern. And there is that. And this one I have ho 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 on it. Just did. I really did a lot of sloppy stitching on some of that there. So, oops! I have got a lot of little glue pieces that have stuck to my stuck to my pages. And then here is, of course, the very same thing. I added another little sticker there that Happy Holidays. And then here is the. The, uh, tick the halls. Okay. And then this is number four. Same way. I think everything is identical. Like I said, I had enough for four, uh, four of my, um, books. And then I had to kind of 
change it up just a little. <clears throat> Oops. Then here is the, um, like this will be different on there. It says Define Naughty. Oops, I used the same one, didn't I? Oh, just a different. This one says Define Naughty as well. Just a different, different lady on there. Different color. That's the tag. And then... Uh, here is some more just sloppy, sloppy stitching there on that. A little piece of that. And then here is, of course, the little. And then here is the back little booklet. So. These were really incredibly easy and fun to make. So if you was wanting to make a quick quick gift, a little bigger than just a, you know, uh, this is my red here. But if you're wanting to make something really quick, this is really a quick gift. So you've still got time if you were needing to make a little extra something. Um, this would be a fun gift. So here is the little booklet here. Now this is my oddball. It'll have a different label here. But she's got the little hat on. Uh, the fronts and everything will be a little different in this one. But they all have the little piece of the st uh, stenographer's paper. This one has silver bells. I've got a little round, a round cat out here. It says it's the thought that counts. And then here is the little collage for that one. Sharing the cheer. And this one here is just that one pretty little label. And then it'll have a little pink 7-Up. Okay, and then here is that and another little collage, my little simplicity stamp, the sharing the cheer. I've just backed it in some uh, uh, tea dyed paper and then stitched around it is what I've done. Another little fabric flip there and here is the little time card there. And then here is the back. That'll be what's on the little booklet, the little notepad or booklet there. This will be a little different here. And then here is my little, uh, this is, oh, this will be jolly. Have the little Be Merry there, and the little Define Naughty one there. So, okay, so that is these little um, simplicity um, paper bag journals, and those were a lot of fun to make. Okay, let me push this out of the way. Uh, this will actually be the last. I think I have um, one more video that will come up before Christmas with a little quick idea. Um, <clears throat> for you at Christmas, but that will probably be the last video, uh, maybe till the first of the year. I'm not certain if I'll get one, uh, put in after Christmas, but, um, anyway, okay, so this here is a fun one. It's a little puffy. I've put a little bit of the, um, the little, uh, batting or whatever in it. So it's a little puffy, not bad though. Um, fabric. A lot of Tim Holtz just did some collaging with the Noel or Christmas um, 
uh, paper dolls. Um, I just kind of made this a little like a grungy, not grungy, grungy, but a little more grungier side. I did use these um, digitals, and if I'm wrong, I will have this in the description box. But I believe these were from my porch prints. So, um, but like I said, sometimes I get them wrong. I look at so many digitals when I'm looking for something specific. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that is what um, that was. Here is the inside. And I have just tea stained this fabric a little just to make it a little off white to kind of match my copy or uh, tea stained pages. Little Tim Holtz paper dolls there in the corner. Just did some collaging there. Here I have added um, a little, um, this is one of the small vintage glassine envelopes that I have in the shop. And um, what I have done, and I have two of these in here, and I'm not going to take the other out. I'm just going to let it peek through the... Um, the envelope but this is uh, just Merry Christmas and it's oh I thought it was a booklet but it's two different pages that's what it was um, I think I was going to use it as a booklet but because this would have been your front side to open when it was together I decided to cut it apart and uh, so anyway it just I wanted something to peek through the front and peek through the back so, uh, you know what, I'll put that, put that together after a while. And this is just a little envelope. You could put a little, little something in it. So cute. I love this paper because of um, how faded it looked and things. I, I love the look of this. And it was some, it's what I was wanting to go for. So when I found that digital, um, I knew that um, I was going to want it. And then uh, here is just some uh, sorry silk and you can see where some of that glue some of that glue sometimes shines through the through the sorry silk because I, I did put a little bit of glue on it to hold it. And then I've just used that to cover the staples, this little uh, vintage looking tape because over here I've got these little things stapled to the page. And they're kind of loose. I wanted them to kind of be look like they were loose there. And then I've done a, I made a pocket out of that bond paper, out of that vintage bond paper. So I did a little collaging here and on the back. This also is a little, just a little pocket. And then I just grabbed a piece of Christmas um, music and wanted to put it in the envelope. You could always journal on the back of that. And then just left it enough that it kind of peeked through where you could grab it. I just used my circle punch to make that. Added a couple of tags. I didn't add very many. And then I made some of the little tags. Um, I just cut them apart and made a little, oh, just a little. They were really cute, these little tags were. And then here's another little collage. And um, this here is just a little booklet I made. I got some tape because actually uh, when I had sewed this, it had caught in the machine a little bit. And I didn't want it to, to come apart any. So I just added a little bit of the, of the little tape so that it wouldn't... Uh, would it come apart so and this is this is just in it gorgeous just from that um, um, uh, piece you can either cut apart let's see is that where that was oh that's not where that was that was there we go I knew that wasn't right I knew that wasn't what I had done okay so and it goes there. And this is just another little envelope as well. I uh, tied a little bit of that sorry silk. I got this from, uh, oh, I got this from um, uh, Victorian Gypsy Girl. I love her, 
Oh, sorry, silk. And of course, the little envelope. Here is this, just a little paper. And it's cute. You can always journal on the back side of that. And that goes there. And then here are the birds. And this is what I was talking about. I love how it fades. I love that. I absolutely love that look. And then I was kind of playing around. I had a couple of scraps. And I thought, oh, I love the Christmas tree stitch on that machine I have. And so I decided to make it like a little bookmark. But it's just two pieces of scrap is all it is um, that I have put that Christmas tree stitch on. And then I added I'm Dreaming of a White Christmas on the... Thing. I just threw it in there like a bookmark. I thought that was kind of fun. Um, here is the other little glassine. It's got the little bird. You see it peeking through with the little bells. It's so cute. And then this is just a little, another little envelope. And same way here. It's just a, oops, this is a little, like a little policy or queen envelope. Isn't it cute? It's got the little bird on it. And then this is just a piece of um, of the digital. I've just uh, made the size smaller so that um, it would just make a good journaling journaling um, page. And then some more of that fun collage with little Tim Holtz. Again, covering the staples where I had uh, just kind of staggered these on the page. Here is another uh, music sheet, uh, Silent Night. And then you can journal on the back. And I think it has a little town of Bethlehem. And again, I've just made it where you can kind of see the name of the song there. And then some more collaging on the back. This is another little booklet here. I've put snowflakes on it. And I added a little piece of the, uh, the uh, digital paper there. And I put a little paper clip. These are the rusty paper clips. I put a little paper clip on there because I wanted it to kind of hold it flatter in that pocket. And then here's just some more of the tags that I had cut out. and Some like little Christmas cookies. And a little lantern or candle. And then I added a little... A little uh, and then here is my little Tim Holt on the back. So here is this and that. Like I said, this one here, I'm not sure. I'll probably just call it my uh, Merry Christmas Paper Dolls or Paper Dolls Merry Christmas uh, journal. And it is a 9 by 6 That's what it kind of approximately came out to was a 9 by 6 Okay, this one here is uh, from Artie Mays. This is her watercolor Christmas digital. And I have just tied it in a little sorry silk here. And I um, also have this a little puffy. It is not bad puffy, though. It is just a little puffy. And um, here is just some um, old... Uh, uh, this actually came off an old tablecloth here. And then I've used some trim here. This one is in white um, with some coffee, the coffee stained, uh, some coffee stained pages. But it's it's more leaning on the um, cleaner side, not so grunged. Um, I did print this on some fabric here, and then just added some little vintage buttons. Kept it pretty cl clean lined here didn't get grungy or anything. I found these little um, trees here on a trim roll from uh, Joann's. Um, and then here is, this was actually an old, um, uh, old uh, p 
pillowcase and this is the trim off the pillowcase. I like to pick up old pillowcases when I find them because um, I always like to use the trim. Um, you can see the glue peeking through. That is some glue that peeked through. I always use the spray glue to adhere the... and there is a piece of Tyvek. In both journals there's a piece of Tyvek. I like to put a piece of Tyvek just to hold um, my uh, a binding in really good. So here's just some tags from the kit. I've backed them in coffee or tea stained paper. This is like a little tag uh, booklet there that you can uh, journal in. I did stitching on all of the um, tags. It just has stitching on everything. It's in that cream and off white. I used some little vintage buttons as tree toppers there. And then I did a little collage with the um, with the uh, washi tape, the Christmas washi tape. Here's just a little a little tag. I put it in. Made a little pocket is what I did there. And here, excuse me. Here's a little collage here. These are uh, Mrs. Cog's uh, little uh, Christmas quotes. I thought were cute. And then uh, here is another little uh, tag. And I've used a couple of old vintage. Um, somebody had was saving stamps. I purchased these at an estate sale. And somebody saved stamps. So they had just uh, tore off the top. And there was quite a bit of it there. So I just made a little pocket out of it. Now on my... Um, the only thing is, when I printed these digitals, uh, my printer did not print them as red, which I am perfectly okay with. Uh, every printer is different, so as I've said, in even when I have a few digitals in the shop, they're you know all printers aren't created equally, and so your colors are going to vary from printer to printer. So mine did not print as red as um, in Artie Mays' shop, you know, when she shows the digital. Uh, but they're beautiful. They're beautiful papers. But that's just part of using different printers and such. So um, here is another little pretty little uh, digital paper. And then I just did a little uh, collaging there. Here is another little this is one of the tags that I received. We had a tag swap over at uh, Sophie's Notes. And uh, they were to be stamped on vanilla, uh, Manila um, tags and no strings and um, black or brown ink. And so this was one of the ladies had sent me a little extra tags. And um, anyway, this is so cute. I love, and I love, this is a Tim Holtz stamp. I know, I love it. I don't have it, and I love it. But uh, I wanted to put it in the book just because. It's just very fitting. And then here is Jack Frost. I've put down here. That's that little die that I got from In Love Arts. Um, I will put the link to their uh, shop as well in the description. This is a really pretty little uh, poinsettia uh, die cut that I purchased at a um, um, scrapbook store in Branson. I frequent, and I love it. Love, love, love it. And then here is another one of those pretty little digitals. And here I've just made a little collage. I used a vintage guest check. This is also what I got from... Uh, Brenda shop uh, that paper bits and baubles. I, I purchased these a long time ago. I'm not sure if she still has them or not, but uh, they are some vintage guest checks. And then here is one of Sharon's medallions um, in the white, and I've just added this little waxed uh, Victorian Santa. Uh, I got these from Penny over at Nantucket Ridge Crafts. Um, she sells things on a Facebook page, and um, she doesn't have YouTube or Etsy. And she had had some of these, and I purchased them 
uh, from her. Aren't they beautiful? I just love that. And they are waxed. They're like a round uh, tea bag that was waxed. And then here is just a little pocket with the, uh, the large glassine bags. And I've added a couple more of the little trees. I've just kind of cut them off. This is just a little a little uh, booklet here. Cookies and milk. I added a few little, just a few little things in there. Just to make it fun. And then, uh, I'll put that back together here directly. And, um, I used some uh, little graph paper there. Here's a little tag. Some more uh, washi. I like to kind of play with the washi. I, I find that really fun. And then here is another one of those tags. I love these tags. And I just love the, the stamp. And that's a little ornament there. And then this here is just a little envelope. I have put a, just a little piece of uh, journaling paper in it. And isn't that cute? And it just kind of sets on the page. This is the copy dyed seam binding. Nope, that is some, I believe this is log brown seam binding from Hug Snug. And I've got to, uh, a few little things hanging around there that I used. It's kind of like, I think it's from the Sari Silk. That's what it is. That old sorry silk, it, it likes to uh, shed a little bit. Okay, it's wanting to hang on those stitches. Here's just a little ticket. I have backed it in uh, some uh, paper. And then here is a little, little journaling spot there. And I just kind of draped it on the bottom of the page here. Let's see if I can go a different route where that maybe won't get caught. I don't know. And then the little ticket just sets there. Whoops. I missed that totally, didn't I? Let's get that. There we go. Get that back on there. And I love this. I love this lady here. And then here's that other, uh, this is just a Christmas, they were both Christmas stamps. This is from 1979. I don't know what year the other one was. I didn't look when I was showing it, but. And then here is just a little collage there. This is the little Christmas tree. I love that Christmas tree, but you have to make sure your paper's thicker. It will just chew through it. And then here is just a little booklet I've also made. This here is just pretty basic here. Just a little booklet for journaling. I think I set it in backwards there. And then did a little collaging. Here's another little. And like I said, I did stitch every tag. Everything is stitched around in this one. I love this. The fruit and spice cakes. My mother used to get a um, fruit cake from England every year. She was originally from England. And um, so um, she uh, she got a fruit cake every, every year. And she was the only one who ate it. <laughs> because none of us kids like fruit cake. So... And I don't believe my my dad liked fruitcake either. So it was all hers when it came. Uh, and then here is just some of that bond paper. Here's another vintage stamp. This one's actually 2003, a little snowman. I uh, backed it in some little receipt. And then I've just stitched. And here will be another. This is the little stocking. Isn't that cute? Love that tag. I just thought that was so fitting when I saw those tags that I just had to have it put in this journal. And then uh, here is just some collage. 
there's another one of those um, little in love arts um, dies there snowflake die I believe is what it's called and uh, oops, I've got a little bit of that everywhere okay and this is just a little a little booklet and this is another one of those little receipts uh -oh, I don't think that's I don't think that's supposed to be stuck, but once again, oh, I tell you, I hate that because it's going to tear that page. So I'll have to, I'll have to repair that for sure. And have a little piece of glue on it. That is so pretty. And then here is a little, I just kind of wanted to tie some tags together here. So, and they just kind of set in the pocket. Here's another one of those little quotes from uh, Calico Cala or, uh, uh, Mrs. Coggs. And then here is the back. I put another pocket and just filled it with more of the uh, the tags. So guys, these are my little uh, journals and these will be the last of the journals. Like I said, I think I have one more. I have one more uh, video that I did pre-make. Um, it's already ready to go. I made it a few weeks back. Uh, but it will probably be the last one before Christmas. So anyway, guys, I will catch you in the next video. I hope that you um, enjoyed the journals. Don't forget to go over and check out um, the Remedy Bar and uh, Picking Junk Addict and the In Love Art Shop as well. I will put those links all in the description box. Have a great, great weekend, guys, and I'll catch you in the next video.